We're down. Just lost four. Look, guys, Jerry did a really good job on that Firefall Live intro thing, so we just had to show you twice. Uh, and that's that. Welcome to Firefall Live. Uh, I'm Frank Letiria. There's Mika. Seven. Mika's over here today. Yes. That's right. Yep. On the... Oh, this is what your left side looks like. It's very really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm asymmetrical. Yes. <laughs> it's like Super Mario. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. You're doing yeah. good? How about you? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. All right, I'll yeah. take it. You want to introduce our <laughs> guest today? Yes. Yeah, you got it. We have two guests. Two. Woo. We have the wonderful Michael. Hello, guys. And Greg. Oh, nice. <laughs> we need to start starting to take this out eventually. They look at the red light. Yay. That's what they told us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so you guys work on audio for Firefall? We do, yes. Wow. Really? That's good, because that'd be really awkward. If you guys <laughs> we set up the set. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> picked me up off the street yeah. and said, can I do any, like, I do you free, some free coffee? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, create sound effects, uh, record dialogue, um, yep. ambient sounds. Pretty much everyone on our team, we kind of uh, do a little bit of everything, which is kind of... I don't want to say unique to our studio, but other studios you might kind of uh, specialize in one thing, maybe just only weapons or combat. We do a little bit of everything, every uh, ability, a little bit of weapons, and kind of share that along the team, so a lot of fun. So everyone on the team specializes in something, right? Last time we had uh, Frank and other Frank. Other Frank and yeah. Nick on. Yeah, not me. Uh, Frank not worked sounds. on the ambient noise. Nick worked right. on uh, the weapon noise, I think. Uh, I, th I think when he was here, he was talking about a lot of the music changes he was doing. Oh, okay, so yes. yeah, Nick did the music, music pacing, right. which actually someone brought up in chat while we were playing the bumper. Mm -hmm. But um, but the thing is, they um, a lot of times our, our workload kind of changes each milestone. So Frank and Nick have also worked on weapons and right. abilities. There are times where we have worked on ambiences as well. Nick has worked on ambiences, yeah. but there are times like in this last milestone, you know, that's pretty much been the focus for Frank. Has been the ambience mm -hmm. focus for Nick. Has been the music system. Mm -hmm. And just kind of whatever our workload is, whatever gets like, needs to get done, we just kind of share along the team. That's good. So everyone does everything, and um, there are times when you need to focus on one little area. But right. at the end of the day, guys, you all do the same thing. Yeah. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. You're all clones. All clones, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Copy pasta. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> parts in the machine. I wore my Giants jersey today. Mike didn't wear his. It's, I know. It's I thought we, we coordinated. I'm talking about it's a good bonding wrong. moment could have had, and I ruined it, you know. I don't, I don't have a jersey, I should have bought one, you know. You're clones. You know? <laughs> oh. Um, why are you calling the weapons sound noises? They are a piece of art. 
Yes. Sweet. I like so that comment. Yeah. Yes. You're, nice. You guys are sound it's artists. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right? Right, right. Nice. right. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you take like normal sound and then change it, kind of. Into right, sound manipulators. We sound manipulators. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, now you sound like scientists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like or sound scientists, I like that name. Yeah, yeah, sound scientists. That's a cooler sounding name. <laughs> you get that alliteration too. Go with that. Yes, yeah, mm. sound scientists. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get new sounds, uh, sounds exclusive for prototype weapons, like tranquility. Mm. You wanna... uh, yeah, normally we just kind of go weapon by weapon with sounds, you know. Um, a lot of the prototype weapons are, are based off existing sounds. So a lot of times we like to keep that same uh, mm -hmm. kind of aesthetic if we can. If, if there are times where if the sound is really going to, you know, bring it to the next level, we'll definitely look at it. I know Tranquility comes up a lot. That actually yeah. is, <laughs> I know, I know Nick, I think Nick and Frank bug. talked about it before. Yeah. It is actually a bug. It is supposed to sound just like the, uh, the burst rifle or use the same sound, but it plays at a different rate of fire. So that also changes how the sound works as well. Um, Oops. So, sorry, um, sorry about that. So, so, so uh, question, it'll get fixed. <laughs> question about that, actually. So, um, if we're asking about exclusive sounds for prototype weapons, say, would that be like something where you would be like, oh, this is a prototype weapon, I should make an exclusive sound, or does this, the uh, item designer, uh, whether it's uh, David Sievers or David Rogers, come in, come to you and be like, this needs a very special weapon, I need to go blah, 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 or right, that right. Out, right? He starts making noises at you, and you're like, I'm sure I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just based on that direction. Like, continue. <laughs> We're used to it, right that's now. what we always do. But uh, yeah, so mostly it would come from, from you know, Rogers receivers, you know, because um, there are so many weapons that are, that are made continuously, you know, if we need to be, you know, and, you know, they need to be uh, brought to our attention, and, and obviously a combat person, a combat lead, you want to, you know, make his, uh, his work kind of come to life. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, if, if that's something he requests, definitely. It's like, I want to do everything I can to make that really work for you. Because we are really more of a sport team. That's really more of our role is to just try to take things to the next level if we can and uh, just kind of enhance everyone's, hopefully, uh, everyone's ideas and mm -hmm. bring them to life if we can. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think that's a that's a big thing is um, like being a service department, right? Like there's so many departments that are like you can consider a service department. Then you have like other departments that kind of flex where they're like service departments, but also like like the owners of uh, features too. Uh, and just to, uh, I guess make it clearer for the audience, right? It's uh, when we say a service department, we're talking about like you basically just get requests. Like I need all these things. And then you're like, okay, well, here you go. Right. Yeah, yeah. And hope for the best. <laughs> and hope for the best. What they yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we just pretty much, you know, support all the content we can. You know, the, you know, we'll be in scoping meetings for all the new missions. For um, like, so, so we'll be from the beginning. You know, just just kind of knowing what's coming down the pipe, and you know, making tasks, and and you know, just kind of waiting for everyone before us to finish their work because uh, we base all all of our work off of uh, the visuals. You know, so the game design has to be completed. Right. The animations, the VFX have to be completed, and then, and then we have to use all that information to make our sounds. Hurry up, everyone! God, what? you're waiting. <laughs> you're waiting for. <laughs> you're waiting for everyone to finish their work. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Damn. <laughs> Still early for me. So. Missed. Uh, I see some questions, but some of them aren't even pertaining to <laughs> yeah, sound. That, that's not pertaining to sound. Um, yeah. LGV honk sound. Okay, so first it, it was like. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day, yeah, that's, 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 that's that was the locust horn. Until uh, actually, the reason why we changed it to just beep was uh, during Firefall Fest. <laughs> Everyone would crowd around oh, no. the, uh, oh, the, the, the uh, whoever was sitting in there. Uh, and whoever we had the camera on, everyone would just crowd around their character and just start laying on the horns. Jeez. <laughs> and you guys did this to yourselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we were like, we got to change that. <laughs> uh, so not just this beep, but yeah. Uh, yeah, and I, I guess I see questions about overall for the LGV for new sound. Um, so we pretty much, uh, it's possible in the future. It's something we always kind of want to look at. There's a lot of technology we need. Uh, to make the LGV sound better. Like right now, uh, 
it's only really looking at the velocity of the object moving and not necessarily all the control, uh, like all the keys. So like you kind of want it to be responsive to that. Like you hit the W key to go forward and you, know, you want it to be like the accelerator to start, you know? Yeah, something to kick in. So so uh, we've been, it's, it's something we're, we're looking to do and uh, we don't have a time. It's something, you know, sometime in the future we'll update, but I gotta say, I like no the time. Omnidyne, uh, the Omnidyne LGV. Right now, doesn't it sound like the Chosen LGV too? Does it? Yeah. I think it's a little different of a sound. I like it because yeah. like you get in and it's got like the boom, boom. Yeah. Like, yeah. like you just yeah. got in like a BMW or something, and then it's like, yeah. you know, so a little more techy. Like, yeah. Right, it, and it's like it, it fits with like the whole like Omnidyne's like the sleeker company, where it's like you right. get an Asterisk and that's kind of like a Harley. Like, yeah. So we yeah. need an yeah. Asterisk LGV that's like a Harley. Uh, yeah. If a producer's watching, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> tranquility needs to be more sound of a pan of cupcakes smashing. Can we do that? That sounds delicious. We should do that. <laughs> the thing is, you, you can't eat the cupcake. Well, you can eat them after, I guess. I, I smash guess. Because otherwise, you're just wasting so many things. That's true. We could wash our hands or like wear <laughs> plastic gloves. Maybe. Well, then it tastes like latex cupcake. Never mind. Mm. Let's not do that. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock it till you try it. It's important to try new Fair things. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Don't be stuck. Right on. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to ask? Or I guess I will. Um, how did you guys, like, so, well, so I guess we'll start with Mike then. Mike, how did you get into sound, doing sound? Jeez, uh, I mean, I started having a, with having a music background, which led me into studying audio production. Mm -hmm. And then when I was studying audio production, uh, I was, I, I just became interested in, in audio post-production and a lot of, uh, in school, there's a lot of using sound design for, um, for a means of composition as well. And mm -hmm. then I always wanted to work in video games and, uh, you know, just was kind of a natural progression. Like, you know what, I'm, this is kind of cool, yeah. like, y using, you know, non-instruments to make sounds and soundscapes, and what if I become, you know, what if I kind of take what I learned here and transfer that to uh, video games, you know, making sounds specifically for, like, certain actions and instead of more of, like, ambient soundscapes, mm -hmm. and which is kind of a, just naturally, just kind of went in one direction, just music, right, to, just, just kept going, and I kept just learning more things, getting interested in, in many things along the way. And uh, so, when you started off, you didn't think that you would end up like where you were in on the audio like department. Or? Yeah, probably not. I mean, wh when I first was in school, uh, you know, I, th I think I wanted to be more on the composition side, music mm -hmm. composition. And then once I got exposed to doing sound design in school, I'm like, you know what, I really like this as well. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of naturally put more of my kind of energy into. Uh, into that direction. Mm -hmm. That's a very neat process. Sometimes it's just like, some people like know right away what they want to do. Some, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to figure yeah, it out. Yeah. So at least when you figured it out, it was still within right, right. what you were already doing. So. And it's still kind of related in a way. I still think mm -hmm. there are things that kind of pick up as a musician that can kind of help with, with and sound definitely, design. Definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm sure that's definitely become right. useful. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Greg? So I, I also had a a music composition background, studied it in school, and I guess afterwards I started doing a little freelance stuff with small films, like mobile games, like all this random stuff. But I'd always like really liked video games, and I started going to GDC and kind of learning uh, what interactive audio was all about. Started learning audio implementation programs like FMOD and WISE. And then I actually I started in QA with kind of an audio focus. So I was uh, checking uh, some uh, like audio bugs or just trying to have an ear for maybe audio issues po uh, popping up. And eventually we got busy enough where we needed some extra help and oh, yeah. moved I Remember in. when you were QA? You yeah. were like in like a glass bowl like in front of us in the mm -hmm. old office. Pe people would tap like, on the window. Why don't you like the suction darts at you? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it was a was it, was that your back room? then. Yeah. Yeah, was was that your room that I was is that the same room where I just pop I, up with the nerf gun and shoot like suction darts at it? I don't think you uh, <laughs> there was like just a I pattern. think you did that for multiple rooms. <laughs> That's true. 
I, I'd like to think that you weren't picking on a specific <laughs> group of people. Well, I was wasn't like necessarily targeting a group of people. More that more like being lazy and just standing up and shooting and sitting back down. Okay, that's so it was like whoever was in front of me, like. That's, that's a good way to pick your enemies. It's right? just right? whoever's in you know, your vision. It's like right across the river. Pop. Okay. But don't you want your allies, like people next to you, to be your allies? That's true. You know? But then I'd have to move. I mean. Yeah. Supposed to keep your, your allies close and your enemies closer. <laughs> uh, that's true. Whatever something. the phrase is, I'm butchering it. I apologize. That was close. I think it was something along those lines. <laughs> okay. Enemies good. closer. Friends close, enemies closer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Honorable Terror of QA. Yeah, Ruben had to get like a, because he was actually sitting in a pod like down the ways from us and he had to actually had to get like a, white, a rolling whiteboard to put behind him because it's so. <laughs> Strays just kept on hitting Is him. That what? Oh, okay. He didn't want to put up with I that. Yeah, he's like, I'm done with this. <laughs> um, and I wanted to catch up with chat a little bit. No, this is not a T.Y. Hilton jersey. Um, what was the other one? Uh, someone wanted. Someone was making sounds for us in uh, in chat to, to talk about how like the shifting noise would be. So like when you're driving LGV, it should be like. Like, you know, like when the like gear little, shifts and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah little gear yeah. shifts. I think the tech's kind of been there a bit, but there's always like more attention to detail we could look at. Yeah. So that's when we do that that polish pass in the future. That's definitely got to be part of it. That's a good one. What's your guys' but, favorite sound in the game? Oh jeez. Did you make it? Did I don't know, man. Like Ash children. <laughs> this is. What's your favorite I, one? I think maybe. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I think this is my children. It's not so much joy. <laughs> it's all we're gonna take that one and cut the rest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I it's watching, so you'll be okay. I have feelings, and I just, I, I don't want them to think. Oh, okay. okay. This is like a, a yeah. sentimental cop-out, or maybe I yeah. can't think of something off the top of my head. I get, um, go ahead. I guess what I would say is probably the melding repulsor sound. That's kind mm -hmm. of, I guess, Yeah. I don't want to say like if, if we have necessarily like an iconic sound, but that's, I think, the sound that stands out Can the you most in our game. Can you your best impression of it? <laughs> 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 Yeah. And yeah. it freaks me out because it makes you think War of the Worlds, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like freaking out mad. She, she, really she takes good. off her has, headset and dumps has that body. Yeah, like, yeah. Because I think it's you also the, the, the sound. So immersed. The sound is one of those things that like draws everyone's attention. It's a mm -hmm. long attenuation, like something big's happening, mm -hmm. and you know, like, oh, the melding's moving back. What's behind this whole curtain? And you just get. It's an excellent yeah. sound. Yeah. I didn't make it. I think Boone made it. But. <laughs> it's awesome. So credit where credit's due. <laughs> Yes. It's Bludge. Bludge is watching we'll us. Boone back on. <laughs> you hear that Boone? I bet she's probably watching. <laughs> Bludge is yeah, watching Boone. us. When are we going to get Bludge in the sound booth? Bludge. Record some uh, right. metal. Uh, metal. <laughs> Something <bandits>. real metal. <laughs> Oh, we should, yeah, because a lot of our, our voices on PTS, um, I'm sure we said before, if you guys aren't, aw aren't aware, um, it's all temp sounds. It's all temp VO from people in our office. So I know there's a lot of feedback on, on PTS that, uh, like, oh, what's happening to all these actors? Like, it's really sound funny because it goes back and forth because it's like, you guys really need to keep the new arrow. And it's like, you're not keeping the new arrow, are you? It's like, yeah, oh, my God. It's, it's <laughs> what do we do? Yep. Well, it's just tough because I think people, they get used to characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of times you, you, you hear a different voice. You're like, what is that? But, but I mean, because we have all the new characters as well. And, and um, a lot of the chosen voices, it's kind of the same deal. The chosen voices, I think a lot of them are me, like the, the screaming ogre guys. You know, we just, you know, that's all, all temp as well, especially the processing, you know. So uh, when we finally do that recording pass of, of getting real actors in, you know, I think the, everyone's going to hopefully be more satisfied. <laughs> I hope they let me still be meddler. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you you can be some sort of crazy person. We'll, we'll right. see. Meddler, go. No. Greg, <laughs> what was your favorite sound in the game, Greg? Oh, no, but see, what you're trying to do now is trying to change the subject. Well, it Classic was the direction. initial, it was an initial question. It was the initial question. Um, like you just, deflected, <laughs> actually. Whoa, whoa. He didn't. We went on to talk about something else, so it wasn't, <sighs> it wasn't even. Okay. I like it. when the chosen drop ship blows up. Okay, what's your best impression of that? <laughs> This is what you guys. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't sound like that at all. Well, it's what do you think it sounds, sounds like? like? Okay, what does it sound like? It's just like today we. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. It's just a whole but sequence. It's more of like... <laughs> you need more like metal, like somewhere between. Stretching. Somewhere between. You need metal stress, like. <laughs> well, we're just gonna somewhere have to there. agree to disagree on this. <laughs> 
All right. Oh my god. Awesome. But um, this is our lives. We do this every day. Does. Yeah. Yeah. When we're like critiquing each other's work, it's like it should be more. (laughs) (laughs) No, not really. But uh, well. That's how we make all our sounds, actually. We just <laughs> yeah. do that in a microphone. This is what you guys get for not giving us, like, guess our sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a thing, yeah. That would have been cool. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. That would have been really cool. Oh, well, it yeah. came, the, the request came in, like, mm-hmm. Tuesday. We're like, hey, you guys are there some wave files? Like, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> we're working. <laughs> next, next time. Right, right. We're too busy for you guys. Yeah, I know. That's why we're here right now. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. We appreciate it. I like how people keep saying what they want tranquility to sound like. <laughs> right, it's right. like all these different things. <laughs> it's a it's a work in progress. Or oh man! Right now. So a couple of things I saw in there was uh, someone was asking us update when, and uh, other people calling it 2.0. We're not calling it 2.0. Uh, we're just putting it out there. You guys started that, not us. <laughs> just, just, just saying. Uh, but we still don't have a date for that yet. Um, we're going to be. I'm putting together uh, basically a presentation. So once we have like um, some solid information, we'll actually have uh, the date for you and like a list of like all the things that you're supposed to get in that update. Not just like, hey, we're updating on this, and then it's like, bah. Uh, it's going to be um, <laughs> 4.0. There you go. Oh Thanks, Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we go beyond two and three. I don't know what that means. The fifth rendition. Keep counting. Um, <laughs> they should make they should make tranquility sound like a rickroll. Can we do? I, we I, can't do that. Uh, I can't license it. We only have the pina colada song. It's only yeah, we only have the pina colada song. We <laughs> license that. We can spend a couple tens of thousands of dollars trying to license that. Yeah, I know. A gun sound. Could be worth it. Yeah. No, well, <laughs> could it be worth it? Could it Anything be like someone art. singing it? Like, or could we like write Probably a parody? Probably not. Well, we could do a parody. I, I don't know all the, the laws in it now. That's not mine. Something like under so many seconds you can use uh, material. I think it's thirty-two. Thirty-two. I'm just throwing that out 10. there. I think it's thirty-two. Thirty-two sounds like a lot. Like there's some pop songs that there's are thirty-two a lot. seconds. Yeah, I know. So. Well, I know. Yeah, like pop songs, you basically have like thirty-two seconds. You have the entire song. <laughs> yeah. Just take that and put it on loop. <laughs> you will consider it. It's it's true, right? Isn't that isn't that how right. pop works? Let's make it as short as possible. Bat- no, I'm not gonna say I'm Batman. You said it. We heard you. Cleared them samples. <laughs> less than eight seconds. Might be less than eight. I don't know. Is it? Maybe I, I was gonna say it, it would yeah. imagine be pretty short. Uh huh. Eight to ten. I and mean, no Boone to be a lawyer. He might know. He might. Know oh, yeah, Can we get him true. like on the phone? Oh, yeah. Call him up. Call you, him. You're gonna use your call then. You get one. You're gonna use it right now. Um, is it, but you're calling. Some, some of the questions might be more difficult later on you? in the show, right. so maybe I should save it. Boone's their only. We call. can ask the audience though. Boom. <laughs> yes, ask the audience. Ask the audience. <laughs> what are we? What are we asking them? The the copyright uh, law, law, like how many seconds you can use a oh. song before. Yeah. Dust Guide says uh, fair use law only really applies if you're uh, are uh, not making money off the content. Mm. Right, so we technically kind of are, I guess. Technically we are, because it's in a game where we're monetizing, yeah. right? You should take all our law advice from Twitch, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're better lawyers than me. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I, I, I trust those, I'll, I'll I'll trust those answers. They have the power of Google. <laughs> yes. Compressed Rick Roll. Oh. <laughs> Why does the War Master and Amazon sound a bit like Wiley instead of Chosen? Huh. Maybe it's the same guy. Maybe. It might be. Maybe Greg's just trolling us. Yeah. Um, I think it, it may have been the same actor, but I'm Is not it? sure. So you guys on PTS, can you tell like all the male voices are one guy? <laughs> By the way. <laughs> and it's neither of these guys. A few, maybe like four. <laughs> maybe four guys. OK, but <laughs> 99% of them are one. <laughs> To give him some credit, though, he can do a lot of different sounding voices. He can. He can. But I hear it. But it's because he's doing. Who's this? Who's this? Sean. Chappie. Oh, yeah, he, he's great. Right, he's right. great. Uh, he's just a treat. Drake wants to know, what about the bandit gun on, uh, is the bandit gun uh, sound on PTS subject to change? So that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean. Is that the one that's like, tuck, 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 tuck? I don't 
Yeah, Sounds I mean, like a talk. We have like NPC assault rifles, and yeah. um, I, I think we just kind of wanted to have something that that sounded different than, you know, a lot of the the accord sounds and mm. the sounds that you have. So, I mean, everything's always kind of ongoing. We're an online game. We always kind of um, a lot of times you just need to kind of like implement a sound. You need to kind of get away from it. You need to play with it. You need to hear it. You know. Mm -hmm. Over and over and over again before you can, sometimes you, before you can determine if it if it needs to be uh, you know polished up or yeah. or redesigned. But I've, so is that something we're considering? Where it's like we want like the bandits' guns to sound different than the chosen's guns to sound different than the human guns? Like is, uh, is it kind of that or it's it's like it's partially that, but it's also partially what the gun is. You know if. if mm -hmm. You know, if everyone's using a burst rifle, that might be the same sound. I mean, pretty much you, you okay. always kind of look at that. You know, you always it, look for it. information, what feedback you're giving people, you know. So it's kind of both of that. You know, it's, yeah. it's either or. It just depends. Uh, sniper what, rifle is perfect. I like the, uh, like, hearing a sniper rifle in the, uh, in the distance. Like, hearing those go off, it's, it actually sounds, like, really good. Like, that's, I'll, I'll put that as my favorite sound of the game. Distant sniper rifle. Distant sniper rifle. Cool. Yeah. I mean, to us, things like that are, are important because we're an open world game. You know, you want uh, yeah. you want to be able to have a good perception of distance, and not only that, but if you're around in the open world and you hear combat, like distant combat, you're like, hey, what's over there? It draws mm -hmm. your attention. It draws you over to that location. Um, so that's always something we work on as well. It's always mm -hmm. always a big focus on on our sound soundscape. Uh, <laughs> let's see what. I, I guess <laughs> can the weapon can the weapon sounds be sped up when the weapon has a higher than default rate of fire? I think uh, speeding up the weapon sound might sound weird. Yeah, I mean maybe a lot, a lot of our looping sounds. So so pretty much the way we do we do them in a, for Firefall is actually they are just uh, a piece of a sound that is triggered very fast depending on the rate of fire of the gun. Okay. So it is always dependent on. The rate of fire of the gun as it is designed. So it's like single shot, and then it's it's tweaked based on rate of fire. So it's played. Like, it just based plays on the a lot. Rate of fire. Yeah, the, the speed that it plays, how, like how often it plays, how often that sound is triggered is based on the rate of fire, uh, according to the designer. And um, you know, of course, as you level up and I'm sure get there's a cap in there, stuff. right? Though. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. I mean, because then it's gonna be it's gonna Each be impossible to. Like, <laughs> It actually is one of the, actually, I guess this could piggyback on one of the, uh, what's called the questions someone had about uh, the most difficult thing in sound design. I guess maybe for this game is maybe designing automatic weapons because you're creating one individual shot at a time. It's, it's really hard for us to preview uh, sounds playing at a very fast rate of fire. So a lot of times we have to just kind of iterate back and forth, go into Pro Tools, make the sound, render it out, implement it to the game, test it, and then be like, oh, isn't it really working? And then try to figure out why. And, Kind of go back and forth, so that's that. Would, I would probably say would be the the. Well, not only that. So now you you made your gun noise. Now picture having like 15 players in there with the same gun. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Amongst other players, right now, now how now how does it sound, right? Because it sounds, it can sound pretty awesome by itself in an echo chamber, right? Mm -hmm. But like you throw in like 15 of these things, and now just like oh my head. <laughs> yeah, it can be a bummer sometimes when you make a really cool sound and you realize that you, it's not going to fit within with what it's intended for or just the situation it's in. And you, there is a little back and forth between the creation and the implementation. So that's another difficult part. What was the sound that you, had, that you were thinking of that you had to, like, you couldn't use? Oh, I, I remember one time I was making a sound for these giant fans that spin around. And it was like really cool on its own. It was big and powerful, but then you figure out that in game, sometimes there's three of them right next to each other. Mm -hmm. So you just see like three huge fans going on at the same time, and it just sounded really muddy and messy. Mm -hmm. So you have to go back and try and make sure that it works. It sounds good when it's by itself and when there's a bunch of them around. Mm -hmm. It's like just tons of like those little examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You never think about. All right. You didn't awesome. think of that. No. Frank, Frank I don't know thought how about the sound it. Works. I thought about it. <laughs> Only because Boone told me about it like two years ago, when it was like, "Why isn't the assault rifle to sound like that?" And he's like, "Well, because three of them firing together sounded <laughs> terrible." <laughs> <laughs> like sure, by itself it sounded great. 
I think from what I remember too, that that gun was uh, that was an example too, where the rate of fire can change and and the sound changes. From from yeah. what I remember, that, that was way before my time. But the old assault rifle, it's gone through super super fast. Probably and, eight different sounds. For yeah, the gun. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Am I am I wrong? Am I off? Well, I just remember going through like our our sound project, and we have sometimes we save some of our older sounds that we don't use anymore, and I just see like assault rifle version one through <laughs> yeah. like twelve or something. Oh yeah. Okay. So I was way off. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Price is right. You didn't go over. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one. <laughs> You're just gonna be that guy. You picked one. Price is right. Why do engineers jump jets on PTS sound like a helicopter? I didn't get helicopter from them. Yeah, I was like, but yeah. who made those? Who's responsible for this? You know, I think it sounds <laughs> pretty sweet, though. Actually, I like some, it. Yeah, I mean, because I think with, with the engineer, we wanted to have the aesthetic, you know, be a lot more more techy, and yeah. uh, so just kind of we just kind of upped the, the tech <laughs> of the techiness of uh, those, those jump jets. I think it was meant as a good thing because there was a happy face. Uh, I think Added that's uh Oh there's a happy face. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we're gonna explain ourselves. Come on. Yeah. Damn it. It's a good it's a good trick. Anytime like maybe I wanna like have a criticism for somebody, I just had a smiley face afterwards. Yep. Right. Yeah, now they now okay. they think that you're being nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, crazy in trouble. Uh. Pez PvP voice pack, please. It's just gonna be whoosh from all the hover sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> I just hover sprint. They do the helicopter noise when the jump jet key is released. Oh, I haven't picked uh -huh. up on that. Mm -hmm. Assault rifle that sounds like a V8 rifle. engine. The, <laughs> the assault the, rifle that sounds like a V8. We should just swap the LGV sounds for the assault rifle sounds. Could we like take my car and like, like put a mic up to that and use that? Yeah, we could get a bunch of different mics, put some on the exhaust, some near the wheels. <laughs> I so sold like that right car. in the, right next to the <laughs> Get it back. We must get it back. You get my little four cylinder out. Yes. <laughs> uh, nope. Sounds really good. That would be the easiest OS to implement. A Mew sound just, pack. Just saying Mew. Oh, Mika, Mika. that's totally you. Maybe different like ways to say it, like Mew or Mew or <laughs> Mew. That's how you speak. Yes. Yep. That's you. That's how you make it. New sound pack. It's not really a pack. It's probably just one sound. So it's just <coughs> sound. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Can you have the Mu HMG? What would the Mu HMG sound? Only like? if it's Sean with his really deep voice saying it. Please make the tiger claw and fire cat say meow instead of ouch. <laughs> sure. Ooh, that's a good note. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I just say I wonder if it, if um. You know, when, when Frank and, and Nick were here, they were talking about some uh, kind of updates they were working on. Oh, the music. And since we uh, are coming on post-PTS, a lot, a lot of those were, uh, a lot of those fixes were, at least the first, first stage, were, were put onto PTS. So I guess if there's any, if anyone has, uh, I guess, any feedback on, if they noticed, you know, a lot more denser ambiences, a lot, uh, a lot more detail to the ambiences. Yeah. And um, we also did a pass on the, on the music in PTS where, uh, we will have the ambient music play more often. I know that was uh, something we had to do was kind of figure out. Um, we had some tools, tools upgrades to kind of get more visibility on our music coverage because we were afraid of like, there was a lot of music in there and we mm -hmm. just kind of polished up like a lot more defined areas where music is playing. Uh, and also something we introduced actually was a, a day night cycle to the ambient music. I don't know if people have picked up on that yet. Really? But uh, yeah, so awesome. we. I haven't. We. Uh, <laughs> I turn off the music. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell Boone that. But uh, I'll tell Boone that myself. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Boone. Yeah. So generally, the the I like you know there. the background music in the day you'll, it will be more thematic. You'll have more melodies, and then once you get to the nighttime, it'll be a little more moody. More sparse, desolate, depending on on what area uh, you're playing, and then we also made improvements to. It's also still the first step of, of a few steps, but uh, made the action music kick in a lot more reactively, a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. So um, right when you start combat, you'll you'll get the combat music play right away, and then it won't you know go back down to ambient music right away. That's still some, something we're figuring out. The, you know, the, our next step is to kind of piggyback on the combat states we have in game mm. so we have with smoother transitions but right now it's kind of the first step we think it's definitely uh you know 
the one place I noticed it really like pretty heavily uh, is in the MPE, right? It's like when you're when you're when you're going through like by the MPE, I mean like up to level ten. Right, right. right. Yeah, that's where I've really noticed it. Where you're yeah. kind of like moving through that air, those areas, and it's like oh crap, right. the chosen dropship comes in by the LGV station, and then the music kicks in and feels pretty intense. Yeah, that, that was something, uh, that was a lot of work Nick did, where, mm -hmm. you know, doing a lot of music editing, a lot of the music we already had already, and then seeing what we have and seeing if there's anything new we could write as well to kind of, like, fit the fit the action or what's going on. So that was really all, all of Nick's initiative, and, and definitely it, it paid off, and it's really uh, hooking you from the beginning, so. Uh, nice. Or hopefully. Nice. <laughs> uh, shoot, I had another question. You can think of a question quick. Okay. Your favorite color? No, I'm just me. kidding. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Blue. Ooh. Big blue. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Big blue. All right. <laughs> hmm. uh, for a newer player, are the chosen events uh, ever coming back? I mean, I like them. A lot of people seem to be uh, looking for those. I think that's something we'll probably work towards having maybe again after mm -hmm. the uh, after we update. Uh, right now, the main focus of everyone on the team is, you know getting all this uh, content out and getting it to you guys. So I, I would really like, and I will be one of the ones to push for another uh, chosen offensive. Uh, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. You guys participated in that, right? Mm -hmm. You got the yeah, players chosen? Yeah. I know what Bludge was. Bludge was out there making a bloodbath <laughs> of all the players. It was brutal. Uh, but uh, yeah, the <laughs> having those again would be a lot of fun. and. Uh, We'll probably have to like think about how we want to do the the rewards. Why do the battle frame servos only seem to come through the left channel sometimes? Oh, that's a pretty good one. Is that a bug? Could that be? A I'm bug? not. Sh I'm not. It could be his, his setup. I mean, I haven't noticed anything like that. I could, we could look into it. I. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> First time heard. Of it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Chose the Do chosen doomsday invasion from beta. Oh, geez, that one was pretty cool because like we actually had like cool. We had the like the world shaking, and then like the the day night cycle would just like spin really fast, and then the world would shake again, and then we just all run in, and everyone would get. Will fire will firefall support five point one or seven point one? I think we do support five point one now, right? No, I think. So. I know we have a 5.1 mixer. Complicated. <laughs> I learned that. <laughs> See what else. See what else. Wait, how come when you said that that was cool, you used quotation marks like this? Uh, well, because the world shaking is like, I know that's like, um, uh. A part, like a piece of contention with the community, right? Because like you know, like because it's like the it's like the camera shake with um, when you come near the uh, big game hunt, not mm. the big game hunt, the uh, super the, bugs. Yeah, yeah. The super bugs and uh, like kind of like the, everything shakes, so uh, it can be a little. Uh, how long was that for? I don't remember. Uh, like how long it only it happened. It only lasted for like thirty seconds, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, that's kind of a. Little... What are the chances a programmer could get his own theme music? None. Oh. oh! Looks like you have to do something for the audio team. <laughs> <laughs> <That's like reaction laughs> jet ball! Jet ball, jet ball, jet ball, jet ball, jet ball! That jet should, ball! That jet should ball. be what he says before I just made every it. match starts. You should say that. <laughs> you know how, like, in, uh, what was it? In, what was it? What was it Dota? Where they Dota. count down? They're like, in three, two, ah. one, and the, the match response. starts. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> well, a lot of games uh, do that. Yeah, a lot of games do that. Uh, Halo did that. Hmm? I think did Halo do that? I don't know. Mm. It's been a while. Play Zaki. They're saying YMCA. <laughs> what? What would they say for, <laughs> for programmers? Jet ball. Jet ball. <laughs> this is. I can spot Aries now. YMCA. What? Sorry. Um. What? From <laughs> Dam Damapoise. Yeah. Uh, you get the village people singing YMCA? Greg saying A-R-E-S. A we could do A-R-E-S. For programmer. Or jet ball. Jet bro? Jet, jet ball. Jet it could be ball. jet bro. I don't know. How to, I don't know. It's going to be a longer song. 
<laughs> at nighttime, can you make the cricket or whatever s stop at a time or just hear it in the distance? So apparently the crickets are really loud, it sounds like, at night. Shrug. Something we're looking to do. No, I mean, it, it's, you don't want, um, you never want like something to dominate the soundscape, yeah. and and you know definitely our job is you know we never want something to bother a player where they feel like they want to like turn the, the sound off or, or log out. So right, it's something right, we could, right. I mean, our mix is always an ongoing, ongoing thing. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Cream says sound fart <laughs> sound loose frame mic drop. So yeah, I don't know if you guys knew this, I and mean, this might have been before uh, both of your times, but um, so you know how Poison Trail. Like I know the story. You. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You go. So ahead. The, yeah, oh. there was a there was a point where, and we 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 wound up taking it out, but it was like maybe a five percent or one percent chance that when you activate a poison trail, it went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> instead of like. <laughs> yeah, instead of having the gas release, it was just a, a fart, <laughs> just a, a little, blatant fart, I think. A little. <laughs> it's pretty good. Five percent sounds like a. High chance right, of that right. happening. Especially if you use that ability a lot. <laughs> more MGVs. Well, guys, can you make more MGVs, please? Sure. Sure. Power of music. All right. <laughs> Just gonna learn Done. a little more about Wait the design minute, we... tool and yeah. the modeling. I mean, I think. Got the sound down for sure. <laughs> Just the aesthetics, <laughs> maybe not. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Light water vehicles. Well, I mean, we have surfing in high tide, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, we oh, do we have, do. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a secret. It's a, and the pina colada song. And the thing. pina colada. Yeah, yeah. There we yeah. go. We're actually using yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that's that's an interesting question. I don't know how you guys would answer, uh, feel about that, but. Do you guys feel that uh, some areas have a bit of wasted potential in terms of soundscape because they're always filled with enemies? Um, I, I mean, I'll, I'll say something quick and you can hop in. Um, there's, there's definitely some times where you work really hard to make this area sound really cool. Mm -hmm. And when you actually, in practice, play it, it's, it is like a big combat zone. So the ambient stuff's going to get ducked down. You're not going to hear yeah. it as much. So, but that's just kind of you know, what the process that's, you know, that what happens and you want to hear the combat stuff, so. Yeah, obviously you, there's like, there's a lot in terms of like, uh, what's happening in the game that where we use audio cues into like, this is what you should be reacting to, right? Like, uh, perfect example for you guys would be like Chosen Sniper, right? You hear the Chosen Sniper thing, you duck behind something, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Or, what, you or don't, die. whatever. You look, you, or you look to see where it's <laughs> coming from. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's, it's, you know, talking about wasting the, I forget the exact question, the way he worded it, but, but uh, or he or she worded it, but, um, I mean, you know, it's, our spawns are, are dynamic for the most part, you know, mm -hmm. um, so some areas you might hear the soundscape, you know, pretty much you, you just do the best job you can to, to make everything come to life and, and the game kind of determines what you hear. And uh, so I, I wouldn't say it would be, it would feel like it's a waste or anything, it's just, uh, we work hard in everything, and you know. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. And there are times you will hear those sounds. Sometimes you won't. Just depends on on whether you're in combat, what part of the open world you're in, and. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's definitely not not a waste. You you definitely want yeah. combat and you know more important stuff that's actually you know part part of the gameplay. Right, because that's we, your work too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah, it's your, yeah. That's your work as well. <laughs> so so it, it's not so much a waste, but there. Yeah, there's. Uh, <coughs> There's times where um, maybe you don't want to focus so much on the ambience there because it's more about the, the combat, mm -hmm. especially like for missions. Like in an open world where there's going to be dynamic content, you're going to have a, a mixture of combat in the area and nothing going on. But mm -hmm. sometimes in missions, there's a very like obvious combat area. That was an interesting question. Thanks for asking that. Right. Uh, then I'm reading, uh, could I pronounce it wrong? J.K. Dekilla. Uh, uh, J.K., my brother. Yeah, brain. and, you know, I agree with, you know, Bronodon King and Tornadoes. I, th I think the more we play, the more we realize, you know, we, uh, you want to be able to, to feel a lot of these sounds in the distance. I think we, we've just been generally a little too conservative with our mix, and now mm -hmm. it's, it's something we've been working on, is just making things, uh, 
you know, having having a, a, a great perception of distance, like things that are, are big and intimidating need to sound big and intimidating and yeah, just yeah, yeah. have a really long attenuation distance. You could hear it from very far away. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did a little, I know we did a little bit of a mix on uh, the Bronron King to do that already. I don't think we've done the, the pass in the tornado yet, but um, I mean, it's definitely something ongoing. You know, the mix is something that's ongoing because we're always adding sounds and then we're always play testing the game and mm -hmm. just kind of always making tweaks continuously because we are an online game. We are just continuously updating the game. Mm -hmm. uh, Kurt P says, we, guys, we need more battle music. I think, uh, I don't know if you've checked out BTS, but that's something we've been working on and we just mentioned like not too long ago, but I'll, I'll recap it just in case anyone uh, is just joining us now. But um, we're, we're basically uh, making adjustments so that uh, the music that you hear like when you're in combat or not, right? right. Uh, is kind of flows a lot better and paces like your experience and your immersion <coughs> a lot more. Right, right, yeah. Cause the, the, like I said before, you know, that first pass is on PTS. It's not the final version of our music system, but it's definitely the improved system. It's step one. All right, look. Yeah. You know, uh, we're talking about an MMO. <laughs> it's yeah. never the final version. <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We'll, right. we'll do all the work, and then a year later, it'd be like, you know what? Uh, yeah, you see know what? this, this some tweaks. Not even a year, like. <laughs> yeah, but, um, um, yeah, for the most part, it's basically you know making sure that you know it doesn't. It's not in a continuous cycle of escalating to battle music and de-escalating to mm -hmm. the ambient music. That's because yeah. then otherwise, just like oh, just every minute I'm hearing this this comment yeah, music just come in. Intense. Ah. You don't want to be like oh, there's one Rana, You know, cue the French horns. You know, you want to be like <laughs> 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 you want to keep it. Uh, Bum, bum, bum. You know, if there are a few enemies around, you don't want to go into combat music. You want it for when there's a certain amount of enemies, and that's pretty much the one of the checks we do is looking at what enemies are around you in your vicinity, and also are you in combat, and then certain music will play accordingly. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to get the dialogue playing on uh, PTS. Yeah, I think uh, again, that's that's probably like like little bugs where they're not being referenced properly or something. Yeah, there's a couple steps from recording the dialogue, getting it into our audio system, and then getting it into our dialogue system, and then making sure it's attached to the proper MPC. And um, ideally, that's it's not like a, a big overarching problem, but if it's happening for a few things, um, <laughs> definitely get this. Drake asks, that's a good question. Can we have the, teepee, the Tiki Thumper play Tiki music when thumping? Like maybe from like the Tiki Torch? So Ooh. the only people who have the Tiki Thumper are the founders, right? Because they got mm, part yeah. of the they were, they were the Tiki Thumper were stretch goals. Um, so like, what if we played like the Tiki Torch music like while it was thumping? It's pretty cool. Mm. It's, a, it's a cool thought. Uh, I yeah. I don't know if you like how you guys feel about that. I don't know how Open World feels about that. So, <laughs> but is that would well, that? So okay, here's a better question: Would that decision, if we wanted to do something like that, would that more li rest on you guys or someone from like open world design or content design? Uh, probably everyone. I mean, probably them and and Boone as well. And I guess uh, my concern would be, what if you have you know five of them oh, spawn they're, in you there? You know, you can't have them that close to each other. We know. <laughs> I think it's about 250 meters. Is oh, it is. Like okay, how far good. Away yeah, they can be from yeah. Each other. But yeah. Possibly. I mean, something, if not that exact thing, maybe something special and goofy and funny, you know. That'd be a cool little upgrade for, like, the founders, like a cool little nod for, like, hey, come back, we... What? Right, right. <laughs> we, gave, we gave your thumper a sound, come back. All right. <laughs> Wait, characters used to say shit. Well, characters used to say a lot of things. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to repeat some of them. <laughs> we, we took a few You just out. cursed on air, man. <laughs> just, I, I did. Oh, well, you can say it. it out. You can say it. Oh, yeah. we can. We're on the internet, man. You can say anything. Well, I think that's one of the acceptable words based on, like, the rate you say it or something like that. I don't know. I don't know network the television rules. <laughs> We're Gorilla TV. Someone had an interesting idea there for, like, based on progression, have you saying different VO. Oh. Like, from rookie to um, more advanced. Like more, a, a, more hardened veteran after. Oh, that's interesting. That's, pretty cool. that's an interesting idea. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting concept. But, um, I think I wonder if like some players would like always want to start as like this gun crazy assault soldier or something or whatnot. But that's that's definitely interesting. I hadn't thought about that before. Mm -hmm. Um, 
so who that we that would be like more of like a technical designer having to go in there and create that, right? I mean, along with having to record the the video. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we'd come up with a plan for, uh, or like we'd, we'd have to talk with narrative with the writers about what would be appropriate for um, a rookie to say, and so on and so on, and then just. Um, implemented <laughs> based on a switch. No, but I, just, I thought it was an interesting thought, and I guess never thought about it before. Mm -hmm. So the last question we'll take for the segment then, so we've been talking to you guys for a while about this. This has been awesome. We're a chatty group. <laughs> we are a chatty group. Well, you are. And me. I was told I could talk it on the show. Yes. Okay. You're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I have rights. Um, so we'll go with uh, Drake again. Will there be more voice packs in the future? Just because more people ask that one, mm -hmm. right? Will there be okay. more voice pack th packs in the future for our characters? Uh, uh, do we have anything planned? Or? We're not quite sure yet. I mean, it, that would be part of, uh, that would be on the narrative side as well as audio. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a, you'd have to bring actors in, you have to write out all the lines, and, well, we had the, most of the lines written anyway, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. there, there are a lot of factors related to it. The but, personality. Um, yeah, yeah, and then, you know, just having more data and files and voice sets and overhead of implementation. So yes. uh, we're not sure. I mean, it's always nice to have, you know, more options, especially, you know, that's something that players, players like a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but we just can't really <laughs> have an answer, have a, have a yeah. you know, well, definitive answer at the moment. It's there in the thinking tanks. Yeah. So. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I can't have this in my hands. Just fidgeting, making oh, right, my, own, yeah, yeah. My, my own sound effects. Well, we are giving <laughs> you guys the opportunity to create your own sound. Nice segue. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> that you was didn't, pro. Did not plan that at all. <laughs> <laughs> we don't plan anything. <laughs> no, just go we, with plan, we plan that. Just go with it, Frank. Shh. Oh, they're, li they're listening. OK. <laughs> um, so we're having a sound contest starting today. Ending August, no, September 24th. It'll be on a blog that we'll post later on today. And by we, I mean. You mean who? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be for the Sin Tower. So if you guys don't know what the Sin Tower sounds like right now, it's kind of like a refrigerator sound. Like it's like. Whoo. I didn't do a sound all shows, so mm -hmm. that's my sound. That's your sound? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone did sounds. Yes. So uh, there will be two outcomes. Uh, either you win and we pick your sound and we incorporate it in the game, you win a Founders Pack. Uh, or the Commander Founders Pack. Boom. Boom. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I have Very one nice. of those laying around. Uh, it's it worth a lot, lot right? <laughs> what? Do I have what? It has a merch pet, right? It has, does. They, all the packs I have for uh, Founders have merch pets attached to them. Which you can't so, that's old school, man. That that's is really old school. That's when I first started, like I'm three years ago. I'm just sitting there, like, was, looking uh, at my desk. I'm like, what are? Oh wow, I have Ensign Gold packs mine. and Tenebel. We should just give these away. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yes, with merch. It does Take have care. merch. Uh, so um, we'll be posting that later today. Uh, not any specific time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it's gonna. It needs to be a wave file, 48k, 16. What if you already have a Founders wave. pack? God. Uh oh. Then we you, didn't think of that. I'm sure you have a good friend, right? Uh, you can just give it to your friend. <laughs> share the <wealth. laughs> There you go. Well, if you already have a founder's pack, we can work with you. We'll, yes. we'll message you, and if you say, hey, I already have this, and we'll be like, okay, well, how about this? Uh, but we'll work with you. Um, uh, so we'll have all the details there on like what kind of format it needs to be in, um, what the Sin Tower sounds like right now, because I'm sure my impression doesn't give you the best idea of what it sounds like it's right now. It's not anything like it. <laughs> okay, well, it's terrible. There, there you go. I did my best. That's what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> nice. And what else? Oh, are there any programs you guys recommend that they can use that's like free to low cost? Um, uh, make a sound? Audacity? Would that be a good yeah, one? For, uh, yeah, Audacity for, I guess, uh, a wave file editor, but uh, Reaper could be a good DAW, because um, they have a free trial, I think, for. I think it was a month, and, and even just having a personal uh, personal license, I think, is only like fifty dollars, hmm. and it's it's a pretty good tool, and it will come with with some plugins. And then I would just say probably look for uh, as much. Oh my, which camera are looking at? As many uh, <laughs> uh, demos you could get, also for for like any sort of plugins. A lot of times you you can get a free demo for a week, um, you know, fully functional. So just mm -hmm. just look around as often as you can for for all that stuff and. 
Uh, Kirk okay. asked if you could make the noises with your mouth. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's it's really yeah, up to anything, you. Anything, anything you want. Yeah. No, uh, really. You could yeah. process your voice and. Yeah, I mean. There's a lot you could do with processing. Yeah. So definitely, you know, be creative. I mean, be original too. Don't just like rip another sound and be like, here, here's my mm -hmm. entry. Uh, They'll know. We will know. know. Yes. I know all of the sounds and all of the things. Oh. All right. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You said it must be true. It's, it must be true. <laughs> I said it on the internet. Yes. That is so. definitely true. Um, and the other caveat is, so we want every, we want a lot of people to enter. So we're also gonna and we're also gonna raffle off because I only have multiples of these, two, maybe three, depending on how many people get in there. We're gonna raffle off to everyone that enters three ensign packs. And yeah, it's the low end founders pack, but remember it has merch. Boom. So I mean we're really right. just raffling off the merch pet at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll have that posted up later today and we'll blast it on our social media. So Twitter, Facebook, so you guys will know this is <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our next segment is Firefall Remix. <laughs> Social <laughs> Firefall. <laughs> We're actually going to be switching this from every Friday, uh, every Sunday that is posted to every other Sunday. Ah, so uh, snap. That way it gives you guys time to use your artistic editing powers. Yes. So this week we had it with Morningstar and Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> creepy robot behind her. Can we talk about how we got this picture, please? Um, <laughs> I was having too much fun. I trans that's actually me as the robot. I transformed myself, did the chibi dev command, and yes, that's Pez. Yes! Pez made that one. Yes, I made it. Uh, Thanks for picking uh, me, guys. You guys are the best. You didn't win. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can have there's, an there's one thing that uh, I had to take. There's one thing in that picture. I'll just hold it there for a minute. We'll just let people see if they can find it. I actually have no idea what's going on. I threw oh, Brody okay. in there. It took me a while to like. You you actually had to point it out. I had to point it out it. to you and Knife Lady. It's yes. that subtle. So while they're figuring that out, uh, Firefall Remix for those for those who don't know, we post every Sunday. Now going to be every other Sunday, <laughs> of an in-game image and you guys have the opportunity to like Photoshop whatever they want into it. So you can make a story, just random stuff like Frank did, with, yeah. a, with a little bit of creepiness if you could find what he hid. Right, so the, the other thing um, is I put together, no, it's not Terramoto, but good, good eyes, he is in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you find it yet, Greg? Um, it's kind of hard to see. Um, you probably can't see if it. If you know where it is, you can see it, but if not, yeah. it's kind of hard. Um, but we, we also put together like a group of assets. So I did this with like a group of assets that I released to the public. Um, with chosen in different poses, care, like just a, like a rhino in different poses, an engineer in different poses. Uh, Brody's in there. A couple of props and creatures. I'm gonna expand Ooh. the list. Oh, she's zooming oh, in. Oh, she found oh, it. Oh no. <laughs> you see it yet? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Boom. <laughs> So subtle. Yep. <laughs> that just happened. Is that is the chosen face palming right next to it? Yes, that is the chosen face palming right next to it. <laughs> Perfect. That's actually the sick emote. <laughs> oh, oh. Face palm emote. Oh boy. That's yes. Good, man. That many chosen river. getting run over. Yeah, he got run. Uh, Marty starts just sitting on there like, yep. And all spells giving this guy a ticket for some reason. I don't know what the rhino's doing. He's just like. Free, ah! free fallin. Photobomb. Yeah, photo. No, that's nice Terramoto. Nice Terramoto's like photobomb. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the so we have two winners this anyway. week. Anyway. That's an honorable mention. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone got to this point in the thread when we were looking at it and just start busting out laughing. like, I'm just done. I'm just so done with this thread right now. Is that FitMip? I think so. I, think that was I have it on the file. I put the name. I, I think it was. Yep, it was. <laughs> so Frank chose this one. I did choose this one because it just looks awesome. And this one's by formerly known as Hotel Six uh, Char Flip Table. Oh, okay. I was like wondering. Okay, cool. I'm all caught or up now. Char Onzable, I think, on the floor. Yeah. And I'd pick this next one for obvious reasons. Because it has a 
kitty with a yarn ball. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> he has little whiskers. In his he has little, little whiskers. He's holding his, like, his yarn because it's his. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do they win? Uh, you guys win any choice of in-game red bean store item. And we're going to raffle off uh, just for entering. You get, oh. Is that? I think Marjorie's just trolling us right now. Okay, because yeah, live for. <laughs> I was like, I see. Is this true? <laughs> a table oh, flips. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a lot of uh, still images uh, oh, yeah, in a weird sequence, and Greg was being a goof, goofball. Sorry. And we didn't know if we were, if we were, if that was live. If that's what everyone I don't else think seeing, that was seeing. But live. That was they were live. seeing the live camera, so they got to see Greg. Doing a okay. weird miming. Doing his thing. Well, I mean, we were a picture in picture. I don't know. That was really weird. <laughs> Anyways, what do they win? Uh, so um, the winners get to pick any item they want on the Red Bean Store. And uh, the raffle winners get 40, bin, 40, 40 Red Beans. Yes. So we'll message you guys later on the forums. Like that. <laughs> and next we have Caption This. Oh, All look, right. it's you guys. Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Pew! Pew! I booted up. You Does that up? sound like a chosen dreadnought getting a charge rifle shot to the nuts? <laughs> it needs a bit more dry heating. <laughs> <laughs> more dry heating. Oh, sounds painful. I, I honestly think just Craig just dropped something. Hey, where'd it go? Make authentic. <laughs> Make all the they said. This is true yep. art. They're, they're, that's true, but I was correct. also throwing up at the same time. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Which made it gross when I actually found what was in there. Oh, my gosh. Good what projectile velocity and sound. <laughs> we need another. How many wiki wackas did he have? Wiki waka? Just too many is the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, because he was spelled it waka. We used to actually waka. have like a wiki house-made wiki wacker drink. Like we did. We had a bunch of those. Wait, were you talking about the tropical tasty treat? Yeah, just yeah. Like, that's not a wiki wacker. That's just disgusting. Uh, oh. <laughs> Team one, do you copy in there? Have you found the Rana eggs yet? We need to find them before Pez shows up with his flamethrower. <laughs> I'm hearing some noises in the bin. I bet it's the skiver we caught yesterday since it's missing from the fridge. Give her in there. Oh, like an, like an now it's on your face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> face. Now your face is gone. <laughs> I warned you not. Wait, what? I warned you not to watch <laughs> the Fantastic Four. <laughs> but no, you just had to see it. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. <laughs> Ouch! Didn't you have one for it, Frank? You had a I really had a good bunch. one. I, had a, I forget oh, what I man. said. We, I, I gotta write these down. Yep, next time. Something about Ash Dragon, I think. Oh. This is an ash oh yeah, like guys, we need to up the ash dragon sound. <laughs> <laughs> that is just me in the game. That is just me making that that sound. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put the uh, caption this picture up one more time, really quick? I have to ask a question. What's Frank doing? Photo bomb. Photo bomb. <laughs> He's like, what was he looking at? Are you okay? Are you safe? Do we need to call HR? I mean, <laughs> I know he looks like he's in on it. I, I I personally talked with him afterwards. Okay. Let him know that wasn't cool, and I mean, we've gotten past that. Moment. Okay. So. Uh, zooming in on his face. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, I didn't see the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Photo bomb. Very uh, good. Geez. Oh. <laughs> now, yeah, I feel like I need to get. Like a divider in the room <laughs> at all times. Because I'm facing my computer. I don't know what, who's looking at me and whatnot. It's, I, want, I, I want to feel safe. So it's the yeah. most important thing. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a talk with him afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Did not notice that. Man. <laughs> that crop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well done. Man. I had a whole bunch of cash. I was just rattling them off on Tuesday. Like, after you guys left from the meeting, I was just kept going and going. And it was just like, 
I should write these down. <laughs> I forgot all of them. I forgot all of them. Literally every single one of the them. The Ash Dragon one was the one, though. Yeah, that's what that I was remember. The one. That yeah, that was, was, what that I was remember. the one that I was like, damn, I had a good one for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ash Dragon noise, done. <laughs> yeah. So I remember I was talking, nice. to, talking to before, I remember reading something on the forums like, someone had the headline, admit it, and they click on it. <laughs> like, the Ash Dragon is just a guy burping in a mic. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? That's actually part of the sound. It's really <laughs> close. <laughs> really close. Just did that, just pitched it down, and then went blur. <laughs> so if you want to get into layer. sound design in, in the game industry, just record yourself making like really like the most random noises. And then right. like you can't have proper manners. You have to right. be able to right. make weird sounds. Weird sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to make the sound. But uh, I guess to piggyback on that really quickly, because I remember I was, I was reading a comment. I mean, I did have a question on how you get into to game audio. Um, so I guess the advice I would give if you're interested in game audio is uh, to learn a lot of the, there are a lot of free tools out there. There's, uh, there's Wise, there's FMOD for your, your middleware tools. And those are the tools where you um, implement the sounds of the game. It's kind of the bridge between when you make the sound and how you get into the game and how you make interactive audio. Uh, there's also tools like Unreal and Unity, mm -hmm. all you know, free to download. Oh, yeah. and, um, and then what's really important is you know, what we do is very collaborative. Like, you know, we have to work with designers and, and all these different artists, you know, animators, VFX. So narrative tyrants. Narrative tyrants. So just try, try to find people who, if, if you're in school, look for your, uh, you know, if there's any game dev program or class. Try to seek those people out. Even if there's not a class, you know, go to IGDA meetings and meetups. They're they're everywhere. Yep. Um, and uh, if you can, you know, if you can go to GDC or any sort of trade show, just uh, just meet developers and, and try to collaborate with people as much as possible. And uh, cause, because then it, it doesn't necessarily matter if you have a uh, like a released commercial product. It's if you have a demo of you know doing all the all the work that's related to an a game audio person, you know, mm -hmm. doing a lot of the sound design, doing the, the implementation, yep. and knowing the tools, and being able to work in a team. Because uh, what we do, like, again, we work with a lot of different departments as well. Uh, we're generally the last people to work on things, so it's just important to have a good working relationship with people. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That was good closing advice. Yes. Uh, so that being said, we're going to probably end the show, but uh, before we go, I'm going to just give a quick update on what we're doing next week. Next week, we, uh, Mika won't be here. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have Mark Bacall on, uh, who's a technical artist. Um, he's ENIAC on the forums and in-game. Uh, you probably catch him. He plays the game a lot. So you might have caught him uh, in-game or something, but uh, ENIAC will be with us. And uh, we're going to be talking about technical arts. And t later today, uh, Mika and I have a meeting with the concept artist, and we're probably going to have the entire concept team on uh, the following week or yeah. oh, that's cool. shortly that's after. So we'll have, hopefully, Ryder will, will uh, be on. Uh, I know he's a little camera shy. Yeah, he really wants, to be, he wants yeah. it to be about the guys, right? Because he's very, like, team-focused. Um, he's a pretty humble guy. So uh, hopefully he'll be on, though, because he's really awesome. Uh, but we'll have Jim, uh, Justin, and Jason on as well. <clears throat> so... Jim does what a, a lot of. Sorry, I didn't mean. To sorry, yeah, yeah. No, go for it. Sorry, you can't, uh, but no, Jim does uh, some of like our temp VO, and he's just does he? He does like a lot of great voices. Yeah, was Have he you guys made him do walk-in yet? Hmm? Have you guys made him do walk-in? He does an amazing walk-in. Really? Huh? Yeah. Uh, it's probably slipped out, just <laughs> at, like in between takes. But yeah, I think he, he does like the, the Mendraxis. But yeah, it sounds like you, Emperor you should, Palpatine. You should, you should go to him it's into awesome. doing some voices because he's he's very entertaining. <laughs> Uh, someone asked what happened to Cowboy. He's working. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I know. I was like, he was. Did something gone. happen to him? Like, you know, check, yeah. check the, yeah. my news updating, feeds. Updating like, combat, making a lot of cool abilities for us to work on. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. so, like I said, the team right now is working on Sir Tau content. Part of what Cowboy's doing is uh, two abilities per frame, I think. One's the HKM, and the other one's um, another normal ability, I think, per frame. I think. Uh, that was the plan. Last I heard it, yep. might have changed. Might have changed, mm -hmm. but uh, that's probably what he's working on. And uh, yeah, everyone's just working on Sir Tau content. And uh, I do have to write that blog about like a high. We're gonna have like a little post about Sir Tau at a high level that I'm gonna post up next week. I should probably finish that today, so we can get it localized. Okay. 
Yeah, because like, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I want to take pictures. <laughs> take, take, take pictures. I already did that. I wanted to take the pictures. All right, you can take, you can, there are pictures. There are going to be new pictures. <laughs> I can't, I can't help. <laughs> it's new enough. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you, Mike and Greg, for joining us. Thanks for having us. It was a lot of fun. It was thank a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we made noises. <laughs> Shared some memories. The best of our we made some memories. Went to some weird places. And uh, we'll see you guys next week with ENIAC. Bye, everyone. Me. Bye. Welcome to the Ares Initiative, Pilot. You are an assault reconnaissance extraction specialist. You are humanity's greatest hope. The melding has transformed the Earth. The Chosen harass our strongholds while bandits take advantage of the chaos, pushing us to the edge. The Accord is only just able to keep it together. But you can change that. Our foothold is in New Eden, but it's not enough. We're giving you the top of the line battle frames to strike back against all that threaten us. But these are just the beginning, because our enemies are getting stronger, and so must we. Hone your skills, gain combat experience, build your own armory of battle frames and master their capabilities. This is the only way we can overcome the enemy. Use what resources you can find to create weapons and enhance your battle frame. Mastering these skills will let you do more than survive. This is how you will become the ultimate weapon. Work with your fellow Ares pilots. But be aware, not everyone has your interest at heart. Your journey will not be easy. The world has changed and with it come new challenges that will test your will. But with the Ares Initiative, we can push back the melding, defeat the Chosen, and take back our planet, our home.